Hello everybody, welcome back to SNG Gamers here. Today I bring you another Sea of Thieves video. I don't plan on doing many more of these videos, so this one's gonna be good. I can assure you that one. That's the sad truth of this. I don't plan on making many more videos in general at all. But today, I plan on bringing you a tutorial that has been long in the works. Not really. <laughs> but has been requested a while back to make Mr. Gibbs in Sea of Thieves from Pirates of the Caribbean. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do today. So first things first, after you head out of the tavern at any outpost you're going to spawn at in adventure mode, you're going to come down to one of these shops and it's going to have a boot on it. That's going to tell you that all the accessories you need and clothing for your customize your character's look is going to be inside. So let's head on inside. Were you followed? I don't think so. I just wanted to let y'all know that there are many things coming my way in life, and my YouTube is coming to an end. I'm just going to lay it out straight for you. My YouTube is coming to an end. And so these are going to be some of the very last videos that I make, and I'm going to move on to grander things. I have a life outside of this, as y'all probably knew, and um, just like anybody else, other things come along, and uh, I... I will move on to other things, better, better things. And so I just want y'all to be aware of that, that I am not going to do this forever, and that it's coming to an end very soon, and that I wanted to get these final requests knocked out. I won't be taking any more requests, I'm so sorry. If you wanted more things to uh, another request, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to fulfill it. I'm just going to put that out there right now. Any more requests, I'm not going to get to. Any videos after this point or after the final requests that I'm fulfilling, which is like three and I already know which one they are, it's going to be Mr. Gibbs, how to make the Black Pearl, and it's going to be how to make Salazar. And about Salazar, I'll get to that in another video and I'll get to how to make, black, the, make the Black Pearl. I'm sorry for stuttering. How to make the Black Pearl in another video. Those are two more videos that are coming after this one. But I'm going to make Gibbs in this one and I'm going to knock those three requests out of the way. And I'm going to wrap this thing up. Some other videos that I'm going to make are just going to be, you know, finalizing and just getting whatever content I have made out the door and uploaded. Because big things come my way. And I'm entering adulting and being responsible, you know, is a biggie. It's something, you know, important that I've... No, I think I did, Colin. I think I saw you. You know me, man. You've seen me many times. Back to what I was saying, though. Um, I'm really sorry that this is coming to an end. We had a great run, and I really appreciate all the support y'all have provided me along my way and, and through my journey. Let's get some lipstick off of you, Gibbs. Thank you. There you go, Captain. <laughs> Captain Gibbs. Wow. that's. I kind of like the sound of that. But my YouTube is coming to an end, and I am happy where I'm moving on to as well, and I'm happy, you know, that I was able to be have this experience and be a YouTuber, but other things are coming along, and I don't want this to be a stress causer, because I want to be able to wrap this up and get everybody satisfied, you know, because I, I enjoy making content, but I'm not going to be able to anymore. Very rarely, if ever, if I'm going to make content again. And I just wanted to wrap it up and let y'all know that I really do appreciate the support that you've given me this entire way. So I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all the creativity and ideas and everything and just really making me feel special as a YouTuber, giving me the full YouTuber experience. I really do appreciate it. I really do. I just want to say thanks for being a part of my journey and, you know... I'm sorry that it's coming to an end, but as all great things do, all great things eventually do come to an end. You know, and this will be a new beginning for me. One, The ending of one thing is the start of something else. And I'm happy what I'm going into because my future is depending on this. When I'm going into, I, I will not have time for this. And I'm going to, you know, it's my passion, but I'm going to, you know, put it aside. You know, I'm going to push past, you know, the, I'm going to move on. I'm going to aspire to greater things. 
You know, I'm going to go on to greener pastures. I'm going to go on to bigger and better things. You know, it's part of growing up. It's part of being an adult. You know, life sucks until you, you know, until you die, <laughs> as I've been told. You know, growing up stinks. But that's just part of it. For you youngsters out there, enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know, I'm pretty young myself, but I'm it's it's time. It's time for me to move on. You know, I enjoyed my time here, but it's time to move on to my future and focus on future things. But without further ado, let's get this started. Eyes are watching. I'm gonna miss this, but I have I don't want to burn myself out on just Sea of Thieves. I have some other games that I'm wanting to play, and I won't be uploading content. Whenever I play, I'm just going to be playing for fun. And I'm playing to bring you too much more content, but I do plan to bring you like some more videos just before I conclude this. But something was brought up to me, uh, and it totally makes sense, and it's accurate, and I don't mean this in a mean way by any means, but uh, I don't owe anybody anything. I really don't. I was told I don't owe people anything. I really don't. But I am a man of my word, and I do want to provide this because I already said, like, yeah, I'll do it. It's in the works, so I might as well just wrap things up and make sure everybody's satisfied before I end my YouTube channel. It's still going to be here. You can check out all my videos down below over, over to the side. Feel free to. You know, let me know what you think of them, but, you know, the factory is closing down. You know? I'll still be here and I'll check on it and stuff, but my YouTube is, my YouTube career is coming to an end. Now, how to make Gibbs. Appreciate y'all letting me fill y'all in with that if y'all stuck through it. But for hat, you could skip past, belt, go for the first one that pops up. It's an admiral belt. It has a center buckle. It puts it right in the middle. The buckle is golden, just like Mr. Gibbs. There's other options. Y'all can pick whichever you want, but that's I'm just going to show you the ones that I got. I would go with the Admiral Belt. If you don't want to do that one, just use the Mercenary Belt. Okay, but you're probably going to want a buckle that's in the center. And see, this one's silver. You can go with it, but I would rather go with gold because Mr. Gibbs, you know, his belt is gold. Beard, it's pretty simple. Just go with Admiral Beard. It's the first one. Very convenient. Just go with that one. My character naturally has... Um, like dark facial hair and I can't go away it's just on his face so it looks pretty good because Mr. Gibbs has like small amounts of hair between his uh, the chaps so as they're called you know the beard on the sides on his jawline and then in the middle it's the gap my character naturally has like that dark grayish um, facial hair outline on his face so that worked naturally for boots I kind of had a hard time finding ones it doesn't really matter which ones you use but i used uh like ones that are smaller they don't go all the way up they're more ankle boots instead of like knee boots or thigh boots i don't think there really are thigh boots in this game but like they're not knee boots like um like these ones yeah they don't go up that high i put picked something that you know is smaller it goes down by the ankle so i picked coarse hair sea dog boots they're fairly inexpensive, about like 1350 just like this one. Pretty pretty cheap. There are other options. Y'all can really choose whatever you want. This is completely up to you. Of course, you could go with cuffed high boots. Remember, Let me back out just to make sure that I'm not going to go idle. Because if you're not careful, you will go idle and be kicked from the game. You'll be sent back to the main menu, even if you are interacting in a menu. It only cares if your character moves. Not if you're in a menu or anything. It'll kick you out. So just be aware of that. For dress, you could skip past it. He doesn't have an eye patch or gloves. Hair. Um, I went with a one that you can't really buy in here. You can go with this one, though. You can buy this one in here. It's Corsair Sea Dog Hair. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Hair dye. Um, you already have white. Hook, he doesn't have one. Jacket, this one's pretty important. I only had like one real option because there's not really a vest jacket. But the closest that you can get, I mean, I mean, this is the closest you can possibly get to Master Gibbs is the dirty, rotten, bilge rat jacket. 
and it is 60,000, 60,750 gold. So just make sure you have that saved up. Otherwise, everything else is fairly inexpensive. This is going to be your most expensive item here, and it looks fantastic. It's the closest you can get, and it looks great. Like, the color matches so well. It's so perfect. So it's as close as you can get. Now, sure, I wouldn't really worry about this too much. You can go with this one if you've seen my other tutorials, like how to make Jack Sparrow and my other tutorials on how to make characters. Admiral Shirt is one that I used in there, and you can use that one. Now, for pants... I went with this one, Mercenary Trousers. They're pretty much the whitest pants you can get. I think they're kind of might maybe a bit of a, like a, almost a bluish, like a turquoise almost. Like a light greenish blue in there. But it is uh, the whitest you can really get. So I went with those ones. You could choose whatever pants you want. It's up to you, but that's just the way I'm making it. See, I, I even went through, I just checked. I was trying to find anything. You know, because it's not exactly green pants. See? It doesn't really stand out, you know? Your best option is to go with these. And they're not they are not too expensive. They're 5400 just like these. But they are cheap. Relatively cheap. And tattoos, makeup, it's quiet. that's up to you. Now let's head back outside. Excuse me. Let's head on out. Now, this is what it's going to look like in the end. So if you like this, stick around. I'm going to show you how to put it all together. This is what it's like. Probably should have done this in the beginning, like I have with some of my other tutorials. But I haven't done one of these tutorials in a hot minute, so I just messed up on the order of those steps. But that's fine. I'm going to show you how to do the hair and stuff in this chest. This one's clothing. So let's strip down, like always. I'm a streaker. Nobody's seeing me. Look away. Okay, so first, come on over. I do have option. There are, is a second option, and it does include actual money. And that is to buy the costumes from the store, and that is to get the actual Gibbs costume. Facial hair and stuff is not included, but see, this is what you're going for. This is what you can buy, just like the Jack Sparrow with uh, facial hair. Or without. You have the scrum costume. It's all in a bundle. And you have the Anna Maria. You have all those costumes. All in one. Anna Maria. Jack Sparrow with facial hair. Jack Sparrow without facial hair. You have uh, scrum. And Mr. Gibbs. Now you're going to go over to shirt. Now you can use this one. Or this one. You can use a sailor shirt. It's the one you get at the beginning of the game. Or you can use the Admiral shirt. That's the one I used. Actually, I did use the Sailor shirt because it has the bigger V gap in there. If you look up like a picture of Mr. Gibbs, he'll have like a gap in his V-neck. Gloves, he doesn't wear any gloves. His jacket, you're going to want to equip your dirty, rotten, bilge rat jacket. Skip past dress. Go on over to belt. Equip the admiral belt. He's looking pretty good so far. This is what he would look like with the mercenary belt. You know, not as, you know, a bold of a buckle. You could do a grand admiral. You know, still pretty good sized buckle, but it's not golden. You could do a sea dog belt if you wanted, but just doesn't scream Gibbs to me. This one does. You know, admiral belts. Admiral seems like it sticks out to me. And then you're going to want to equip your mercenary trousers, your white pants. Your boots, right here, horsehair sea dog boots, your underwear, that's up for you to pick. I'm going to go with black underwear. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good, but now you need the facial hair, you really do. Without it, I don't think anybody could identify. Be like, hmm, kind of look like Gibbs, but at the same time, without the facial hair, it's hard to recognize him. So let's go on over to our beard. I mean, you could do it with the mustache, but Mr. Gibbs doesn't have one, so I would just go with the Admiral beard. Go over to hair. Now you have some options with hair. 
You could do slicked back hair, which is the one I'm going to do. Because if you see Gibbs, his hair is slicked all the way back. So it's kind of in the name. You could go with... I wouldn't say... You could do slicked over hair, but, you know, he's not bald. Hold on. Which ones did I choose? You could do the coarse hair, sea dog hair. But I say this one kind of looks more like Will Turner, but you could totally go with it. Which other ones was it? Which other one was it? You could go with parted if you wanted. But if it was me, I would go with this slicked back hair. Now hair dye, you're going to go all the way down because when you go in, it's going to bring you to the first one, which is shadow black hair. Just go two more down. Bone white hair, and it's going to dye all your hair bright white. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Now you can be Master Gibbs in Sea of Thieves. Free of charge, but not free of work. And there you are. The closest you can be. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for the time I have left. Trust me, I'm not going to drag this out too long. I'm my, you know, the end of my channel is very near, so just support if you want while I'm at it. You could subscribe to check out some other content or whenever, if ever, I, you know, upload. But you can be with me in my final hours if you want, you know. You can, uh, if you like the video, consider smashing the like button, you know. Check out the videos down below or over to the side if you like my content. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And goodbye. Thank you so much for watching SNJ Gamers.